coming from a small town who didn't have a lot of access to psychiatry or anything like that in the medical field, this gave a large hospital like Palmetto Health the opportunity to you know have the to have a psychiatrist in these small towns who wouldn't have the access normally. So it was good from seeing a wide range of patients to being able to provide continuity of care um, to a place that wouldn't normally receive it. It's been such a, a great privilege to learn this technology because, you know, like, like we've discussed, it allows people in rural areas who may not have the access to the psychiatrist to get the the proper care that they need and the expert care that they need. From our standpoint, from an educational standpoint, you know, seeing the wide range of patients, seeing the wide range of diagnoses, of treatment, and even just backgrounds, um, learning about you know, the low country versus the upstate and things like that, it, it's a part of the treatment and you have to know what resources are available to them, the patient, for aftercare reasons too. It's really been such, it's been such an asset to have this training um, as part of our educational program because we get this experience with this innovative technology and that's something I can take with me from residency wherever I go and say, hey, I was trained in telepsychiatry and most places are going to see that as such a benefit because we're familiar with the technology now, we're familiar with how to use it and how to serve those who are most in need. They are incredibly fortunate to be able to have this level of training be provided within these innovative healthcare delivery systems. And that really prepares them once they graduate from their respective programs to be able to do that more effectively and efficiently.